what is up, gang? Thank you for checking out Sledgehammer TV today. It is time to go back to Cambridge, England and embark on another edition of NXT UK. The second episode coming at us. It was so much fun last week calling the action for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you came back for more, obviously you did. And let's get ready to dive right into this week's NXT UK live reactions right here on Sledgehammer TV. I am Nick Nightmare. Let's do this. Alright wrestling fans, this NXT UK live reaction show is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering a free 30 day trial and one free audiobook download to fans of the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show just for trying out their service. Over 180,000 titles to choose from. All you have to do is go to audibletrial.com slash sledgehammer tv to sign up today. That's audibletrial.com slash sledgehammer tv for your free audiobook download and 30 day free trial. All right, gang, let's get the show started as we're going to kick it off with the first match of the night NXT UK. Let's do this once again. Cheers to my friends in the United Kingdom. I wish I was one of you, I wish I was there with you as we have Ligero coming down to the ring. The United Kingdom's resident Lucha Master. At least that's what I believe just from this awesome mask he's wearing. He's got the Union Jack draped across his face with two psychotic horns coming out the side of his head. This guy is absolutely crazy looking. I'm digging it. We're gonna put Thor down so that we can enjoy the show and focus on our drinking. Ligero looks very impressive. This guy is in tremendous shape. Let's see who he's gonna take on tonight. Not too familiar with this next guy coming out. My first time, I think, seeing him. The Wild Boar. The Wild Boar. Mike Hitchman. Look at this guy. What the hell? <laughs> we had Gimli last week showing up on this show. This week, we got some kind of an orc walking into the ring. This guy is psychotic looking. His eyes are black as night. He's got, like, tusks coming out of his face with this mask piece he's got going on. He's got the solid black demon eyes. His coat has got horns coming out of every which way you could imagine. He's got no teeth, this guy. What the hell am I looking at? The wild boar. Holy shit. Guy looks like the English James Ellsworth. Here we go as the action kicks off. The Wild Boar right away. Wildly attacking Ligero. I've never seen so many horns in one match before. The action's starting to pick up now. Ligero with a nice hurricane run in the middle of the ring to the much larger, yet at the same time smaller, Wild Boar Mike Hitchman. Gets Legero with a nice shot to the midsection, sends him into the ropes, goes for something, but misses Legero. Ducks, sweeps him off his feet. Standing backflip, Moots off one. One count, that's it. I like seeing one counts. I don't like the standard two count. I think things need to be broken up. Not enough damage to hold him down for two. The Wild Boar sends Legero to the outside. He springs right back to the inside. Hits him with an elbow right to the face. Ligero now. Drop kick from the second rope. Takes down the Wild Boar. One, two. Whoa. Almost a quick victory for Ligero. I don't know if it's Ligero, Ligero. 
We're gonna go with Legero. I think that's what I hear them saying. Legero going on the attack now. Tries to send the bull, boar, not bull, the boar into the corner, but he cannot get the momentum. The wild boar sends Legero in and gets him with a charging spear into the corners. Nice T-bone suplex out of the corner. One, two. The wild boar almost taking out the horny Englishman Legero. Beautiful exploder suplex. Absolutely fantastic. Mike Hitchman trying to wear down Legero now, staying on top of him with a nice chokehold being applied, really laying his weight down into the back of the neck of Legero right now. Legero needs to do something to lessen the grip of this very strong yet stocky. Big power in a small package coming at us in the wild boar, my Kitchman. Legero reverses out of it, goes for a splash. A tilt the world splash. One, two, almost a two. Nice clothesline now by Legero. Follows up with another one. The wild boar in the corner now. Legero charges in with a forearm. Hits the ropes. Nice single leg drop kick. One, two, Legero once again almost coming away with this thing. Seems to me like Legero, even though he has a couple of inches on the wild board, may be the underdog in this thing just based off of the strength. The crowd getting behind Legero now. Looks like he's going to execute some sort of a... Goes to take a step, but the board catches him, puts him up into a fireman's carry, drops him into the floor. Senton splash! Taking out Legero, the boar now. Coming into the corner, cannonball! What? One, two! Legero kicking out once again. Showing his fortitude. Taking everything that the boar could dish out. Hitchman pop up, power bomb! That's gotta be it, one, two! Legero kicks out again. This guy, the wild boar Mike Hitchman, looks like something out of your nightmares, man. He looks like a combination of a demon and a gnome and a troll, all balled up into one professional wrestling small package. And it's unbelievable to me. The guy is taking me, taking my breath away almost just in his, in his overall package. And I don't mean his package, I mean his package. Jeez. What he looks like. Dirty Englishman. Back to the action here. Legero on top sweeps the boar off his feet. Springboard DDT! One, two, three! I'd have to call that an upset. Mike Hitchman had this match for the majority of it in the palm of his hand. Or his hooves, as it were. Ligero coming out here, showing you why he is one of the top talents in all of the UK. Looking back at some replays now, that sweep to the knee was devastating. Springboard DDT off the second rope. That was the end of this for the board. Let's break out the carving board and have some ham sandwiches. Stick a fork in the man. He is well done. Legero, well done, my friends. What a great match to kick off this show. Lots of power, high intensity. Dakota Kai being highlighted now. I didn't know Dakota Kai was going to make her way to the UK brand. Welcome to the UK, Dakota Kai. The Kiwi Badass. She is very impressive. She reminds me of what Bailey used to be. Who are we looking at now? Killer Kelly. Absolutely no 
Killer Kelly had a great match in this year's May Young Classic. But she was in over her head as she had Mako Satamora in her way, and there was no getting away from that one. Killer Kelly looks absolutely impressive to me. She has a great look. She's got some power, and she looks like she came to play. Let's lower the volume here so I don't have to scream over commercials. At least we're not looking at WWE main roster fucking commercials like we had to see last week. Mandrews, Tony Storm, Pete Dunne, all of the biggest stars in the NXT UK. If you're in Liverpool, the 24th and 25th of November, get your asses to NXT UK. It's going to be fucking awesome. We got the women taking center stage now as Dakota Kai, I'm expecting, is going to take on Killer Kelly, which is why we just seen the packages for both of these young ladies. Dakota Kai was absolutely great in the May Young Classic last year. As I was saying, I rem she reminds me of Bailey. She has those notes of this very uber friendly, very personable, very baby faced character. Even more so than just her bubbly personality. Her in-ring ability is great. She is fantastic. I am still very much surprised that she's in the UK brand. I don't know why it's surprising me so much. I thought she was going to be part of NXT from the USA. But I am mistaken. It's here she is to make her claim across the pond. Let's see what she's got, as she's going to have a pretty tough test in her way. Killer Kelly now making her way to the ring. This girl is all business. She looks like she wants to eat Dakota Kai and pick her bones with her teeth right now. Very intense on her way to the ring right now. I love that side ramp. It's just so quick and to the point, yet it's still a ramp. It's freaking great. I wish they would do that over here. We don't need those mile long fucking rampways for these guys to walk down to half of the garbage music that WWE puts together for their talent. Speaking of music, Killer Kelly's got a hell of a song playing up behind her right now. I'm really digging that as well. This girl's right up my alley, man. She's not about being pretty. She's not about being sexy. She's about getting in the ring and kicking some ass. I'm sorry, Blue. I just knocked my buddy Blue over. My apologies, champ. First ever WXW Women's Champion, Killer Kelly. I didn't know that. Or maybe I did, but I just forgot. Here we go, the bell sounds, and the ladies getting ready to rumble. Kicking things off in a tie-up, collar and elbow tie-up. Both of these girls jockeying for a position. Killer Kelly taking advantage, getting Dakota Kai in a side headlock. Takeover, reversed into an armbar by Dakota Kai right away. Can't really cinch it in as Killer Kelly's making it back to a vertical base. Dakota Kai looking to send her into the corner, reverses. Dakota springboards over the top of her. Look out, charging in comes Killer Kelly. Nice maneuver by Dakota Kai with a nice schoolboy roll up. Double stomp to the chest of a downed Killer Kelly. Stiff kick to the chest, one, two. Dakota Kai with some explosive offense. Killer Kelly now taking control, jacking her jaw with a jawbreaker, following it up with a forearm into the corner, goes into the ropes, nice boot to the chest of Dakota Kai, two count for Killer Kelly, 
strong push kick or it's deep as it sometimes who stays high. on the attack mounting Dakota Kai firing away with right hands the most experienced wrestler out there and might commit some errors but once my eyes are set on a goal Killer Kelly fully in control at this moment. Dakota Kai looks like there's nowhere to go. Kelly setting her up now, looking for that surfboard stretch. Almost has it locked in, rolls it back, seated in it, and turns it into a chokehold. Dragon Sleeper. Combination with a surfboard stretch. Very nicely executed by Killer Kelly. Dakota Kai fighting her way out of it. Gets sent to the mat face first for her troubles as Killer Kelly remains on the attack. Suplex by Kelly. Sends Dakota Kai into the corner, trying to pull herself up. Cannot do it. Killer Kelly set up to charge across the ring. Screams like a banshee before taking up. Goes for a stalling drop kick. Crashing Dakota Kai into that bottom turnbuckle for a two count. Dakota Kai will not be denied here. She will not stay down. Really Maybe she doesn't know when to quit kick. as Killer Kelly seems to have full control. Wait a minute, as I say that, nice reversal into a roll up. Dakota Kai with a two count. Killer Kelly kicks the elbow of Dakota Kai. German suplex, nasty, nasty looking suplex. Woo! That was kind of ugly looking, wasn't very pretty. That looked like it hurt. Drop toe hold oh, sends Killer Drop Kelly face first Rocky into the Kelly second turnbuckle. The girls now back. trading some oh, blows in the center the of the ring. Dakota, oh, Dakota Kai taking advantage now. Up. Forearm Six, after forearm. Trying to kick Kelly off her game and a weird Dakota kick to the face. Kick. Nice and stiff Savak palm kick. Kelly. To the face of Killer Kelly. Position. Dakota Kai now. Looks like she's tuning Here up she the comes. band. Comes running around. What a kick to the face. Follows up by another running shotgun kick across the ring. My God, Dakota Kai firing up now. Oh, Summer Salt double knee backbreaker. One, two, three. Dakota Kai out of nowhere with a very unique maneuver. She somersaulted over the top of Killer Kelly, landed almost in position to execute the bank statement. Holy shit, and then flipped it. Inverted backs is a better way to describe it. Thank you, Nigel McGinnis. A code red into an inverted backstabber. Big boot into the corner, followed up by a beautiful second kick. And here we go. Let's look at this again. Off the ropes, onto the back with both knees, back flipping backstabber. One, two, three. I'm going to call foul here because Dakota Kai's entire body was underneath the bottom rope. And that count should not have been executed. Should have been broken up. What does Dakota Kai have to say? What are you feeling, Dakota Kai? It feels pretty damn good. What's up, NXT UK? Yeah. Cheers. Nice words for the UK fans. Got a nice body, this Dakota Kai. Very in shape. There's a possibility of an NXT UK Women's Championship. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I want her to be in on that action with a finishing move like that. She needs to crisp it up. 
Going to take out anyone that gets in her way is Dakota Kai. Fantastic. Looks like the NXT UK women's division is really starting to shape up into something special. We already know Tony Storm's going to be a part of it. We know Rhea Ripley's going to be a part of it. Now we got Dakota Kai. Girls like Killer Kelly. Ginny. It's going to be fucking great. It was the second annual United Kingdom Championship tournament. Taking a look now at the finals. Zach Gibson and Travis Banks, Banks, and Travis Banks, Banks from the United Kingdom Gibson Championship Tournament we're looking at. I don't think this, this was the finals, was it? I don't remember, but I do remember Zach Gibson. This guy was sick. We are going to get to take a look at Zach Gibson in his first appearance here on NXT UK next. I'm excited. Zach Gibson was, when he first came out, very underwhelming to me. But he definitely won me over with his performance in the UK Championship Tournament from last year. This guy is one of the best professional wrestlers I have seen out of the UK since they've started showing the UK stuff under the WWE banner which is absolutely great. We got main roster commercials coming on right now. We got to promote the shop zone, right? Used to be shop zone. I'm sorry, WWE shop. Excuse me. Nah, 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 nah. Everybody's everybody talking about us. What? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Excuse me, you guys. We are live recording this thing, and... I forgot to bring more than one beer, so please excuse me for the first time in the history of this channel. I'm going to step away for just a minute. You guys can listen to this while I'm gone. There's always been a big age difference between us. As I was approaching my 30s, forging a career in education, becoming the principal of an elite private school, Those two are living at home with their parents. Look at defending progress. Wrestling champion of first grade pizza. Fly themselves. Now we're ready. Now we're ready to put. What a bonehead move. Let's not make it a habit to do that. And risk taking style. And then, in January 2017, I had to sit and watch. individual is coming to NXT UK. Zach Gibson did have one of the worst fucking songs. <laughs> he is not liked by you guys in the UK as much as he is liked by this guy, apparently. I appreciate what Zach Gibson is bringing to the dance. I love this guy. Listen to the heat he gets. He didn't say two words yet. He just came out. And the whole Cambridge audience is just raining down. Listen to this. You got to agree with Nigel there. I definitely do. Are we going to get to see this guy in action, or is he just going to talk? Let's listen. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm with it. The Royal Albert Hall. I beat Jack Gallagher. I beat Gallagher. Morgan Webster. And I beat Travis Banks. So I can stand here. Stand here and say that I am the 2018 That's right. WWE. Respect! Show some Jesus respect! In one night! <laughs> no rest! No time to prepare! Yet still, the very next night, I walked <laughs> to the ring to fight Pete Dunn! I can't even hear him over the crowd! This crowd is all over Zach Gibson. This is beautiful. Turn this microphone up. Turn it up. I agree. Turn his mic up. Despite the fact that I had no rest. <laughs> despite the fact this that is I had awesome. no time to prepare. I still talk Pete Dunne to his absolute limit. That was a great a fucking fresh match. Zach Gibson can beat a fresh beat done on any given oh, night. Ho, 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 ho. Knows it. Those are big, big words from a big, big man with some big balls in, in Zach Gibson. That match was supposed to be me versus Pete, but instead. <laughs> Waving their shoes in the air, standing on their feet, trying to put me off. This guy is great. He has the crowd in the palm of his hand. Does Zach Gibson. This is the makings of a megastar. You don't get reactions like this. If you hate Zach Gibson, stand up. <laughs> I remember that was amazing. No, no. <laughs> because they were too busy handing out trail shots to guys like Noam Dar. This is great. Who, despite having weeks to prepare, still let the title slip through his poor, dislocated fingers. <laughs> Riotous. If you hate Gibson, shoes off. These guys got their fucking shoes off. I hope so. They gotta start wrapping this up. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. He was talking shit about Noam Dar. And here he comes, the Scottish Supernova is back in the building once again. Zach Gibson just called Noam Dar an embarrassment. Sadly, Sandlot fights. He was. Oh, it was. 
Oh, making a mistake. Dar marching into the ring on a mission. Looks like Gibson's ready. Hey. Wait a minute, Johnny Saint now following Noam Dar to the ring. Johnny Saint, Johnny Saint, Johnny Saint. Things were about to get started between Noam Dar and Zach Gibson. Johnny Saint telling these guys, you ain't gonna do that shit on my show. We're gonna do things the official way. Get your asses back in my office. I like this. Very reminiscent of what William Regal does down in NXT. Can you imagine what will happen if Zach Gibson becomes the NXT UK champion? Did you hear that? Were you listening along with me to all of that? My name's Ashton Smith. Ashton Smith. My ring style. Your aggression is fire. Pretty impressive guy. I've got more fight than anybody else. Very impressive looking individual. I remember him from the UK tournament. I actually thought he would go further than he did. So this is a pretty uh, funny story. Oh, oh Jesus. May or may not have heard this. I don't care about anything else right now except NXT UK. I don't want to see commercials for Ride Along. I don't want to see commercials for Storybook Time or whatever the hell show they want to shill me right now. I am in full NXT UK mode. I don't want to see any of these people from the WWE main roster. Unfortunately, it's the WWE Network, so we have to deal with this kind of shit. But whatever. Let's get back to the action, because that's what we're here to watch. The Kiwi Buzzsaw, Travis Banks. Travis, the last time we saw you was the Royal Albert Hall. How have your preparations been going into NXT UK? Well, as the Kiwi Buzzsaw, I train the only way I know how, and that's with martial arts. See, martial arts got me to NXT UK, and I want to accomplish a lot here. Maybe one day be champion. But first, I can't forget what happened at Royal Albert Hall. The vicious beating by the Coffee Brothers on me. So Mark, Joe, they're my first target. Travis Banks looking to come to the NXT UK division for some coffee. Yeah. That's going to be a hell of a match with no matter which cup of coffee he decides to take on, whether it's Mark Coffee or Joe Coffee or Starbucks Coffee or Dunkin' Donuts Coffee or Decaf Coffee or Macchiato Coffee. It doesn't make a difference. Travis Banks was very, very impressive, and he is going to give us a great match against one of those two brothers, if not both of them. Looking forward to that. As we have Ashton Smith now. Coming down to the ring to make his NXT UK debut. Kind of reminds me of somebody, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I feel like I've seen him before as Blue goes down for the second time tonight. I don't know what my problem is. Only have one and a half beers, so I'm not drunk. It's definitely not that. I'm sorry, Blue. <laughs> Maybe my setup's just a little bit too cramped. That's why we need more subscribers and we need to gain momentum so that we can grow out of this little studio and become a big, massive force like we deserve to be. We got this guy, Tucker. His name is just. Tucker. Reminds me a little bit of Daniel Bryan without all the hair on the top of his head. We got Tucker going on 
against Ashton Smith. The bell sounds and here we go. Headlock takeover by Ashton Smith as Tucker taken by surprise. It's absolutely in his sight to behold. If he hits Smith with it, he's going to get the victory. It's as simple as that. Ashton Smith using his length now to his advantage. Nice arm drag takeover by Smith to Tucker. Tucker seems to be confused. He doesn't really know what to make of Ashton Smith. Maybe he didn't do his homework and scout him out at all. Tucker's going to have to change up his game plan to try to get the advantage here. As he seems to be doing now, knee strike followed up by a forearm to the back and a chop to the chest. Sends Ashton Smith into the turnbuckles full force. Follows him in and gets an elbow to the face for his troubles. Smith leapfrogs over the back. Goes for this very awkward sunset flip. Feel like he's trying to overperform right now. Very dramatic in his moves. Might be costing him in momentum and power. I don't know much about either one of these guys to give you guys any banter or anything like that. We're just going to have to sit and watch this matchup and call the action as it happens. Ashton Smith now sends Tucker into the ropes and Tucker comes out with a nice forearm to the face. Flooring Ashton Smith, not knowing what to make of either of their opponents. Both of these guys going back and forth across the ring now. Crisscross. Very, very weird match going on right now. Very awkward. Yeah, that would be a way to describe it. It seems like they, neither one of these guys really know what to do with each other. Or they're both just having an off night. I don't know what it is. It's Tucker now firing off with a chop fest. Forearm to the face. Now a standing drop kick by Smith. Stops Tucker's momentum building assault. And sends him into the corner. Tucker staying on top of it now. Throws him Irish whip into the opposite corner. Tucker now tying himself up into the ropes, trying to take a breather, creating separation by the referee. Cheap shot to the face of Smith as Tucker now looking to really take control of this match. Somebody's got to take control of this match at some point. And it seems that Tucker's striking blows to the face are getting him the advantage leads to a suplex and a close two count by Ashton Smith kicking out not really feeling this match as I'm sitting here watching trying to call it to you guys backdrop suplex by Smith to Tucker Smith looks to be getting pissed off now. Both competitors trading blows. Back and forth. Tucker goes for a flip. Oh, gets caught in the face by a stiff boot by Ashton Smith. Charging into the ropes. This guy is weird. I don't know, you guys. I'm not feeling this match. Not really feeling this match. Not feeling either one of these guys either. I, I don't know what it is. There's just something about the way this guy moves that's a little... I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. Some kind of weird arm swinging DDT. Ashton Smith gets the win here. I, I apologize for the way I had to call that match. I barely called that match because I don't know what the fuck I was just looking at. That was probably the first awkward or so-so match that we've been given in NXT UK. I, I didn't enjoy that. That was very weird. Something about the way Ashton Smith moves in the ring just doesn't feel natural. I feel like he's trying to be overly elegant. I'm not saying that I don't like either of these individuals. I'm just calling it as I see it. I don't know what really I just watched. 
You could tell from the first match and the women's match to this match that there was something off with this match because I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't even call that match. It was terrible. <laughs> Very strange. We are taking a look now at Danny Birch. I love Danny Birch, man. Birch and Oni Lorcan have been tearing up the NXT scene down in Florida at the Performance Center and in NXT Full Sail University. Danny Birch is a natural fit for the NXT UK. There's no questioning as to why he's here. <laughs> he's a hometown guy. I expect big things out of Danny Birch. I am really big on this guy. Tough as they come. Everybody wants the United Kingdom Championship. You see, that's how you're supposed to do it. I don't hear anybody on Raw or SmackDown talking about wanting to be the champion. Not even the champions talk about wanting to be the champions. But you got every single person that we have seen on this show tonight in a singles capacity talk about being the United Kingdom champion. And Danny Birch will be debuting on next week's episode of NXT UK. It's going to be a happening. Make sure you're there. We're going to be there. As we are now getting set for our main event of the evening which is going to be Tyler Bate, the first ever United Kingdom champion, versus Wolfgang, another giant piece of man meat. Are you really showing me a fucking evolution commercial right now? The song makes my shoulders have to do this. And my face don't have to. This is what my face does. Well, my shoulders bounce to the catchy tune. Fuck evolution. Whatever the opposite of an evolution is, that's what this should be called. Regression. WWE regression. Devolution. And not Diva with an I. Devo. Lucian. Awful. All right, so Johnny Saint getting to work quickly as he has booked also for next week, Zach Gibson. If you hate Gibson, stand up. We ain't standing up. Versus Noam Dar. That's going to be a hell of a match. I cannot wait for that one. As we are going to kick it off now, or kick it down with the final match of the evening. Wolfgang making his way to the ring now. We've seen him on NXT a couple of times after the UK brand was initially started and Pete Dunne was crowned the UK champion. Wolfgang is another one of these guys that was very impressive to me in the first UK tournament. He's got tremendous agility for his size. Do not let his physical stature fool you. This guy can move in the ring. Wolfgang ate my lunch, by the way, in case you missed the sign. <laughs> Wolfgang has got a dope, dope Joker tattoo on his left arm. I love that tattoo. He's all tatted up. He looks like he's working on sleeves that aren't quite finished yet, but he's got a very beautiful Joker piece. Make sure you take note of that. As another guy who's a whole lot of power in a very small package, makes his way to the ring, the first ever United Kingdom champion, Tyler Bate, one half of Mustache Mountain, my favorite NXT UK tag team at the moment. They were on NXT UK last weekend, staking their claim to the rumored NXT UK Tag Team Championships. 
and they definitely want to come together and make history being crowned the first team to ever hold those prestigious belts. Those belts are more prestigious and they haven't even been put on the show yet than half of the belts on the WWE main roster. What does that tell you? Little mustachio mountain action going on. Give him a little bit of this. Little one of these. Big fan of Tyler Bate. Big fan of Trent Seven. I'm a big fan of Wolfgang. I'm a big fan of a lot of these guys. The last two guys in the last match, not so much, obviously. This ain't fish trombone? I don't know what the fuck they're saying. Here we go in a David versus Goliath scenario of sorts. Wolfgang is twice the size of Tyler Bate. Easy. Easy. The crowd starting to get on the back of Wolfgang. And the fact that they back a superstar like Tyler Bate. Absolutely. I mean, the UK fan base has always been one of the best in the world. Let's see if we get a clean Lock up here. brings them oh, into the ropes, like being separated by the referee. Wolfgang mocking Tyler Bate, doing a little bit of this right in his face. Tyler Bate needs to be cautious on his approach in this matchup. If he gets caught with anything that Wolfgang can throw full throttle. It could spell the end for Tyler Bate before this match even begins. See, I hear it again. Fish trombone, fish trombone, fish trombone. What are you saying? <laughs> Wolfgang now has Tyler Bate on his shoulders like a bag of garbage. Deposits him on the outside of the ring safely. Woo, gives a little howl. Probably telling Tyler Bate to fire up here because he is not here to play games and carry babies around. Here it is. Big strong boy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Vic Joseph. Big strong boy. Not fish trombone. Big strong boy. I like fish trombone. Fish trombone. Fish trombone. <laughs> Big strong boy. What the hell? How am I supposed to know that? This match really hasn't even gotten started yet. These guys are pretty much staring at each other and playing with the crowd right now. As it looks like we're finally starting to get going. As we got a test of strength right in the center of the ring. Wolfgang clearly going to have the advantage here. Barreling his chest into the tiny Tyler Bate. Very easily gets the advantage on the smaller Tyler Bate. But Bate will not let up. Trying to gain momentum. Getting himself back to his feet. Turning it up over. The hands gets Wolfgang almost down to his knees. Wait a minute, rolls over, flips out of it. Kip up into a drop kick, Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate, one of the most explosive talents you will ever see in all of professional wrestling. How the hell does he have the agility to spring like that? Guy's a human mattress spring. Flexibility just showed some great athletic. Awesome. This man is tough. Nice attack. Let's take a look here. Going for a test of strength again, but Wolfgang's not having it. Kicks Tyler Bate right in the midsection. Tyler Bate now gets Wolfgang up on the shoulders. Fireman's carry, but he can't hold him there. Tyler Bate charges into the corner but gets caught by Wolfgang and tossed like trash across the ring. Big knee to the gut followed up by Wolfgang. Tyler Bate needs to get back in gear here. Wolfgang with a cover following an elbow drop. 
Only a one count. Tyler Bate looks like he had the shit knocked out of him right now because he definitely did. European uppercut by Wolfgang. Setting Tyler Bate up for a suplex now. Drapes him across the top by the midsection. Hanging over the top ropes just momentarily. Doing severe damage to the abdomen of Tyler Bate. Saw Wolfgang throw that low and knee into the midsection of Bate early on. He's now clearly focusing. Wolfgang wasting time talking to the referee. Letting Tyler Bate get back to his feet. Tyler trying to take him down by the legs. Looking to sweep him but does not get to do it. Kicking to the midsection is Wolfgang. Tyler Bate trying to mount some offense now. European uppercut again. And again with another uppercut. And another. And now Wolfgang sends him down with only one of his own. Picking him back up like a rag doll, only to send him back again with another European uppercut. Wolfgang now in complete control dominating Tyler Bate as he sends him firing into the turnbuckles one two Tyler Bate taking a tremendous amount of damage here from the scary King of Scotland that Joker tattoo smiling in approval as Wolfgang has a seated, grounded bear hug applied to Tyler Bate, trying to suck the wind out of the little man, not allowing him to get any strength. And now he turns it into a full on bear hug submission. Standing in the middle of the ring, nowhere for Tyler Bay to go as Wolfgang just continues to wrench with all his might, flailing the body of Tyler Bate back and forth. Tyler Bate trying to muster all the strength he can, firing his elbows into the side of the face of Wolfgang. A double clap slap. Followed up by a boot to the face by Bate as he is now following it up, making a comeback. Stiff right hands, five, six, seven in a row as he now just keeps unloading with Haymaker after Haymaker, backing Wolfgang up into the corner. Tries to send him into an Irish rip but gets reversed now. Wolfgang eats a big knee to the face from Tyler Bate, flying forearm elbow. Sends Wolfgang down. Tyler Bates got to try to go for a cover there, but cannot get the strength to pull his weakened body over the carcass of Wolfgang, who is now back at a vertical base. Tyler Bates not allowing any quarter as he charges into the corner. Looks for an exploder suplex, but cannot get the big man up. Wolfgang sends him into the ropes. Look out, he does that weird arm thing I don't know what to call it and for the third time vaults himself off of the rope into a clothesline Wolfgang finally down to one knee in this matchup the mighty Tyler Bate picks up Wolfgang on his shoulders going for that aeroplane spin ah. This cannot be fun for the last King of Scotland as he gets deposited like some cargo out of that airplane spin. Shooting star standing from the corner is two count. I can't even keep up with the action coming out of the little man, Tyler Bate, moving like the flash throughout this entire matchup now that he has finally got the match seemingly in hand. He needs to pull off something big to take out Wolfgang. Looks like he's setting up for the Tyler driver, but gets flipped out of it. Lands on his feet, does bait. Charging in, does Wolfgang. Another knee lift by bait. Gets caught out of a flying forearm attempt and gets tossed over the head of Wolfgang like yesterday's news. 
Pops. Big Buddy Tackle Spear. Wolfgang, one, two. Oh, a very close two. That was about two and nine tenths as Tyler Bate sucking and gasping for win. I'm getting so out of control that even Blue is flipping his lid. Wolfgang seated on the top turnbuckle now. Gets hit with a headbutt by Tyler Bate. Who stays on the attack now? Tyler Bate looks like he's going to the top rope. Setting him up for a superplex. Wolfgang not allowing that to happen. Wolfgang now on the top rope. Goes for a... Oh my God. Went for a senton from the top rope. Misses. Gives Tyler the chance, catches him with a rolling Kava kick. Setting up for the Tyler driver. 97! One, two, three! My goodness, Tyler Bate with a huge test. Big time battle going down in Cambridge. Wolfgang, very, very impressive in defeat. Even more impressive is Tyler Bate. What a great match to end this week's show. That's more like it. This is what I expect from the NXT UK division. Not that last match. Big time spear. That was an incredible takedown by Wolfgang. Misses the senton splash from the top rope, allowing Tyler Bate just enough to get that Tyler Driver 97 for the three count. Tyler Bate victorious on this night. Absolutely fantastic. He's got his sights set on the United Kingdom Championship as well as has his sights set on the UK Tag Team Belt with Trent Seven as part of Mustache Mountain. Salute to you, my friend. Little mustache twirl for you. This was a great, great show. Wow. As we now are going off the air from the WWE Network and we return to this in the studio. My goodness. Another fantastic edition of NXT UK. Let me know if you guys are enjoying everything. I know that one match in the middle kind of took me off my game. We had a lot of promotional packages, so I didn't want to talk over them too much. That's why I let the silent and the, the lapses in time with me not saying anything. Just wanted to explain that to you guys. I wasn't being lazy. I wanted you guys to hear what I was hearing. Hopefully that was the case and you guys heard everything nice and clear. Lots of little malfunctions happening on this show. We had Blue lost his fucking head. NXT was so good that it knocked Blue's head right off of his own fucking shoulders. This is the world champion of microphones. Look at him. Look at the condition this guy's in right now. This is all thanks to NXT UK. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Obviously, you guys know my thoughts on the show. It was an absolutely great show. Just another one to add to the list. Thank you for joining me for this very special show that we are doing. Of course, like I said, let me know if you guys are enjoying this format and if I should continue to do so or if I'm wasting my fucking time calling matches for you guys that you don't even appreciate. So let me know if that's the case so that we can just do a straight-out review from this moment on. But until then, you are going to keep getting some of the most awesome alternate commentary that you could ever find. I wish I could show you guys the video, but you know that I can't do that. You know that I can't do that. So I bring it to you guys, audio only. And if you want to fire up NXT UK while we're watching, try to find the spot and watch along live and hear me react as you are watching live. That's that's a fun game you guys can play while you're watching this show. Until then, or until you decide to tell me which show that you'd rather me do, we're going to continue 
doing it this way because I'm having a whole lot of fun and I hope you guys had a whole lot of fun as well. Make sure you subscribe to this channel right now as we are on that hard, hard march to break that 1,000 barrier and it's going to start with an awesome wrestling fan like you. Chances are you're probably from the UK and you're watching this and maybe not, but wherever you're from, the Sledgehammer Club is worldwide, and we are always accepting members, and all you need to do is hit that subscribe button right now. Become one of the hundreds of people all over the world that know that Sledgehammer TV is one of the most fun happening places in all of YouTube for professional wrestling. We are not like anybody else that you are going to see on this platform, and we hope that you enjoy everything that we bring to you the way that we are bring it. Thank you guys all again so very much for indulging me on this awesome episode. My name is Nick Nightmare. This is my team, Thor the Sledgehammer, the official Sledgehammer of the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show, and the wrestling god of Funda! And the very disheveled <laughs> world heavyweight champion of all the microphones in all the world, Mr. Blue, get your shit together, bro! What's wrong with you losing your head over NXT? My god! <laughs> this has been the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show's NXT UK live reactions and alternate commentary show right here on Sledgehammer TV. That, my friends, is going to do it. We are out of here, and we will see you later on tonight for the May Young Classic Review and later this week for the October edition of the subscription box showdown. Make sure you're here and don't miss it. Thank you all so very much. That's going to do it. And we are out of here right here on Sledge Hammer TV. UK. UK. <laughs>